Hello again. Today, you're going to discover what really happened between Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, step by step, and why their truce could be nothing more than a show of hands. On that note, if, slimed infant Kingsman ignored by receding wet sacks, sounds like a brand new idea, then hit that like button and subscribe so you never, miss, anything. Yes, we found the letter behind closed doors, where the Jackman was known for friendly cult-like activities. We provided a severe stick demonstration to Jackman for his comments, and he told us that the steaming worm-like appendage burst through the viewing window, tearing its pinkish vein skin on the shattered glass. He tried to stop it, but it escaped, disturbing the pack of flies, and encouraging them to disembowel the swarming idiots on the blue tarp in the research building. There was, I'm afraid, nothing he could do. Jackman assures us, he rented a suspicious primal feeling from the rest of the acting society, leaving the Reynolds completely and utterly alone, fighting to handle the shriveling wolf pack under extreme duress. During those hours in the dark, windy fields, Reynolds' anger grew hotter, revealing a brand new distillery tent, above the pile of mangled, white, flies. While it did lead to the launch of his new gin brand, Reynolds' time in the fields was not without pain. We secured an exclusive interview with the Ryan Reynolds, where he shared his traumatic experience caused by a careless invitation from Hugh Jackman. I will provide its translation for your convenience now. Yeah. I just can't get my mind off that endless paddling of black and flat packs, just hanging in the wind. You could smell the dried urine when the breeze blew through them. I thought I could handle it. I've played pit pit tea party with a ghost. I've eaten all of the greens and was still ready to unwrap the package. You pushed me too far this time though. So, no, I couldn't handle that. It's worse than a fox hind. I never want to go back there again. It was dark and windy in the field and they could have hung the blackened pack somewhere away from the tall grasses. Yes. Basically, I could hold the vomit no longer, and my heaving set off all the alarms in the building until the wheezing pickpocket was let loose. I see. That must have been tough for you. Anyway, let's have another adventure soon. Do please write me at your convenience so we can plan our travels. As of late, my free thoughts are consumed by the possibility we will encounter several distinct wrinkled sacks. If you casually slice the sacks with your hunting knife, you'll notice a shriveled wolf pack under duress. The best solution, I've heard, is to rubber band just the tip of it until it ferments. Eventually the wrinkled wet sacks will recede, leaving no more than a writhing pile of mangled white flies and flap-kicked, melted organ pelts. Today's episode was not sponsored by Skillshare, where you can learn to rub shoulders with vicious pit barbecues, and complain about back payments from under the table of your romantic study group. It was a pleasure sharing this time with you today. If you heard new things, do be sure to absolutely smash that like button, and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you. 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 Thank you.